Taliban has successfully managed to halt age-old opium trade in its valleys, hoping to fill the void by venturing into tourism. Now, according to reports, after 20 years of successive Western-backed governments failing to eradicate opium agriculture, it appears that the interim government led by the Taliban may have succeeded in achieving what their predecessors could not. According to a report, a British geographic data firm, there has been a drop of more than 90% in poppy farming in the southern province of Helmand, which is considered to be the heart of the opium industry. Opium farming provides livelihood to almost half a million Afghans. Afghanistan now faces a massive challenge of finding alternative livelihoods for these farmers. The ban will also create an estimated loss of around $1.3 billion to the farmers. According to reports, since 2022, economic conditions in Afghanistan have gradually stabilized. About 7,000 foreign tourists visited Afghanistan since August 2021, generating a revenue of around $1.8 million. Since taking over from Ashraf Ghani and his government in 2021, the Taliban has been looking for international recognition. It further hopes that halting the opium cultivation in the region will strengthen its case. However, the Taliban's strict code for women as well as their record on human rights, continues to baffle the international community. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.